Welcome again to our Lenten devotional series, Again and Again, from Sanctified Art. Today we begin with a poem by the Reverend Sarah Are, entitled, Keep Digging. I can feel change inside of me. It's a slow burn. Change usually starts out hot, defensive and angry. A self-righteous blanket of, I am right and here's why. I wrap it around my shoulders like a barricade. I fight the temptation to lean forward, to play the challenger, to argue with confidence. But in time, almost always, the heat fades. The air leaves the balloon. The audacity of it all starts to wear off. And eventually, what I am left with is myself in a big open sky. It's colder here. It's quieter. I can hear my thoughts. And in this big, wide openness, I'm able to say out loud, maybe I wasn't right. Maybe I need to learn. Maybe it's time for change. Maybe that's okay. And if I'm quiet, and if I'm paying attention, I can usually hear God whisper inside of me, Good work, my child. Now keep digging. The Gospel according to John, the 12th chapter. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who is from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. A commentary from Reverend Denise Anderson. As she writes, the year 2020 will be remembered as one of pestilence, pressure, and protest. Even as a global pandemic disproportionately affected marginalized people, Brianna Taylor, Tony McDade, Ahmaud Aubrey, George Floyd, and others joined the already long litany of black lives lost to police violence in the imaginations of armed civilians. Everything was changing, but too much remained the same. The unrest was almost constant. 
Consider then what must have been brewing in Jerusalem the week Jesus, Jesus was crucified. Our reading jumps ahead to that week in the moments after Jesus' protest march in Jerusalem. Imagine that the air is charged as an occupied people remember God's liberation of their ancestors from another empire. They're aware of Jesus' wonders and are anxious for restoration. As his Lord grows and visiting Jews from the diaspora seek him out, Jesus telegraphs the vision. In order for the seed to bear fruit, it must die. Those who follow him must go where he goes. Whoever tries to retain their life will ultimately lose it. This, trouble, this is troubling because the Messiah was expected to live forever. Jesus is again defying expectations. But for those who are worried, a voice from heaven confirms Jesus' identity. Change, even when welcomed, means death. I once had the unenviable task of pastoring a church through dissolution. We realized that change would happen either with us or to us. We could die to some things so that we could live to others, or we could hold on to what is and die with it. Only one of these is a faithful way forward. Again and again, we are being reformed. The process is uncomfortable, but the status quo is untenable. When change happens with us, what possibly could take root and flourish?